Okay, now that I'm not busy with other stuff. Yeah, actually, actually, I've been spending the past week and uh, Saturday before watching. Yeah, I said I was gonna watch High School DxD and do a reaction to. I've been watching it. I've seen. I've already gone through half the first season. Grant, there's still a lot of editing up ahead. But I'll talk about that a little later after I talk about this. So this is the 10th ROM hack I've been playing in the C3 Let's Play Spree. The Heart. Isn't that the most pointless intro message you've ever seen? Then again, I think there was one about Justin, Gwen, Noah, Beth, and all those other people from Total Drama Island that had even less to do with the hack than just The Heart. The devil is at work here. Reavy first. Do not spin jump on spiked enemies. You can't anymore, so don't spin jump on the boo. It'll hurt you. So the spin jump does not really serve its purpose now. If you try and spin jump on a spiky enemy, you're still gonna get hit. So it's like the spin jump doesn't even really do much anymore. Granted, I played a hack before where this wasn't the case. You just couldn't spin jump. If you would spin jump, you would just normal jump, like so, instead. A very bare demo of... Yeah, you're not gonna believe what he's calling the hack. Mario Hard-On! <laughs> yeah, this is being, this was made by someone known as Giant Shy Guy. I never said the author up until now. Only two levels are finished, but also hammers and just nets. So only two levels are finished. Everything else... Everything else is not. I think we're gonna go left to right. Stroll! One of the unfinished levels. Let's go for it. Needless to say, with High School DxD, I'm gonna have a lot, a lot of editing up ahead. I tell you, the sensor work is gonna be annoying. But even then, if I manage to censor all the nipples properly, I I'm still gonna age restrict the video given the whole nature of everything. I guess it's some sort of find your way through door maze. You say I can only imagine that it's still gonna be age restricted. Granted, it's not gonna be nearly as heavily censored as e e e yeah. it. If something is awry, go. Believe your eye. Move forward. If everything is the same, even if around you isn't tame, cower back. Well, how am I gonna remember all this anyway? Okay, don't spin jump on the boot, don't spin jump- That is a fake door. Okay, how am I gonna get by this thing if it's spike just- If it just extends its spike when I tr when, when I would try and jump over it. Oh. Like that. Okay, so... But then again... This isn't one of those finished levels. I think I'll know when I reach the end. When I can't go any further. That'll be an indication that I've reached the ending. Oh boy. I gotta be wary of it. Okay, this one's standing not too far from the door I gotta enter. Everything is bright and cheery now. And of course, you gotta just... Don't even bother spin jumping. You will get caught. You will fool yourself into thinking you can, just because, of course, you can spin jump. You will fool yourself into thinking you're not going to get hurt on a spiky enemy. So, if you're playing this hack, whatever you do, don't spin jump ever. It's a horrible idea. Okay. Well, at least he put an ending to his unfinished level. So that means stroll is done. But also hammers! No, really, that's the title of the next level. Spinies. That you can't spin jump on, of course. Okay, this is gonna be a lot of hammers. Well, yes! I have fire! And I can kill him with fire! One of the most deadly enemies in the whole level, and you can kill him with fire. It's gonna make this way easier. Well, I can't do anything about that hopping flame. That section got a little more ridiculous there because of the whole not being able to spin jump on spiky enemies anymore. Granted, having
having this fire flower is gonna make this way easier than if I did not have it. Here I gotta be way more careful because of spit jumping, of course. They took he took that away, for whatever reason. It would make more sense to just make your spin jump be a normal jump. Oh, the power down system is nicer here. If you're, if, you're a, if you're a fire Mario and you get hit, you're just gonna go to big Mario, not small. So I guess that means you can take more hits than in a regular Super Mario world. I got it. Let's just keep the screen scrolled left so he's not on it, but when I jump on him, Wow, I just made him disappear! So I was gonna get the stomp him before he could throw a hammer. But no, he just vanished. I don't know what I'd rather have. It would've been much funner just to be able to stomp on him. Oh, I still get hit. Granted, I could, I could take a lot more hits than I was expecting because of this power down system. What is going on? Uh oh. I think this is that spark you gotta kill the enemies to make the screen advance. That means I have to kill all this stuff. Considering he's throwing a hammer every second, I don't know when I can squeeze in a hit. Oh, look at this guy, he just throws three hammers. All my power-ups! Oh! That was it! Just those two enemies! Granted, they were very powerful ones, but those two enemies that were tough... Well, toughest nails to take out without taking a hit, that is. Just Nets, the other level that's actually finished. Let's go. That level where you gotta go downward. That looks really nice. Not something you see every day. A, a lava. There's lava in this place. And there's gotta be a reason you don't wanna just go straight down. What's in here? Honestly, there could have been something in that pipe. Scroll screen back. Ah! That jump! Is it supposed to be that tough to nail that jump? Or were those platforms just horribly misaligned? I was kind of hoping not to take that hit, but even then the last time I died wasn't because of the taking a hit. It's supposed to be that hard to nail the jump. Whose bright idea was this? That jump, though. How are you gonna do that? Okay, what does this platform here do? It just falls. I was thinking maybe we'll move left, but no. Actually, I was thinking it was just gonna fall, and I was hoping in vain it would move left. It didn't. It seems no matter what I do, the platforms are always aligned as such. It looks like it's gonna be tough as nails just to make a simple jump. We did it. We made the jump! I made the jump, and there's still more level. Seriously hoping no. Seriously hoping I get like all well, good placement of the midpoint. As soon as I start to, as soon as I start to have that feeling that I'm gonna need a midpoint soon, there is a midpoint. As soon as the player feels he's gonna need a midpoint, it should be there.
is not it. when that happens. I love it when my fall is just broken by being stopped by some mysterious force. Hostile one. Let's go. Then again. This level's familiar. Yup, this is actually really familiar. Hostile. It was that level this guy made for that 7th level design contest, Vanilla. This was his level he put in there. Really labyrinth-like and really hard to see your way. It was one of those unnecessarily... Well, not unnecessarily. It was one of those difficulty spikes in the 7th Vanilla level design contest. Oh, it just ends there. Okay, glad that's over. Turbulent Tides. According to the author, this was a level for Super Mario Central Production 2. What, did he lose the graphics and now he's just using cement block spam? What happened here? Lakitu. In fact, I, yeah, I still remember the whole Lack two, throwing spinies you can't spin jump on because the game's changed its rules. This might be problematic if I get unlucky. It might. And again, this isn't that hard. But this may take a while. Go and hope I don't get unlucky like that. Endings! 
get it. We'll just get it. And not even bother with anything else, because that's it. So that was Mario Hard On. Four unfinished levels, two finished levels. It was quite the short ride. But I have another wrong ha- I, I, There's the grand finale coming up real soon. But I looked at my messages on YouTube. Not somewhere I check often because you don't get notifications for new messages. I found out someone left me a request to play one of their C3 entries. I, I, it's not too late. I'm gonna go do it now. Okay, so outside of the ROM hack, I'm probably going to show you some graphics again. I mean, I saw some nice graphics this C3. And I'm probably going to even play a bit of music outside of Super Mario World hacking. I mean, there was a folder full of songs that... A folder full of MV3s that the author of... Well, yeah. I'm not going to say who made them until I actually go... Yeah. Look at the title. This is what the guy wants me to play. Mario gets laid. Mario gets laid! Sure. Rom hack of the year. In the title of this thread, it said it was a joke. What? What is it with all these joke hacks, this C3? The princess has invited Mario to come over to her house and fuck her. Finally, it's about time. Oh, so Peach lives in the special zone. She moved to the special zone. Okay. This is a super short joke hack. Uh, I'm gonna try and do my best. I'm gonna try and do this in my best Princess Peach voice possible. Hello, Mario. I can't wait for you to give me that big juicy Italian sausage of yours. Oh, so that's the bed? It's made out of gold tapes. Wait. Okay. It's censored. Very well, then. Good thing. That was fun, Mario. I hope we do it again sometime. Well. This just might be the shortest ROM hack I've ever played. I, I, I don't know if the Sim, well, the Sims 4, that was zero playable levels. This isn't even a level two. This is, this was as short as the Sims 4, maybe even more so. I seriously doubt that there's anywhere else I can go and look. There's nowhere else you can go from here. The reason I spent more time on the Sims 4 than this is because I was double checking to make sure that there was actually, I actually got everything. Here, I, I seriously think I got everything. This is it. This is Mario Gets Laid. Hope you enjoyed it.